okay in the last session we discussed about different type of invoices and to payments any questions on these type of invoices and payments to understand in which scenario these can be used please any questions from anyone please okay so now we'll talk about the basic setups which are required to start with accounts payables okay say accounts payable setups So first we have to configure, say configure uh, payable, payables system setup. Then we have to set up financials options and we have to set up payables options. And we have to create payment terms and we have to create distribution sets and we have to create suppliers and to supplier sites and we have to create bank and uh, bank branch and bank account and we have to create payment process profile okay and just open payables periods then we'll be able to record the invoices as well as payments okay they are very basic setups okay they are very basic setups in the payables so once we complete with the setups we can see the invoice creation payment and to work on the different type of invoices we have to do the additional setups when you work on that relevant concept we'll see those so before that just we'll complete these setups and we can start with the process okay we'll go one by one and here out of all the setups the optional very optional setup is distribution sets distribution sets are not mandatory reason we can enter the manual distributions also the rest of all setups are mandatory which we have to complete okay configure payable system setups okay we'll see the navigation so user is cloud just switch to payables so upon super user just click on any one of the function close whatever if we just connected now the navigation is to set up the payable system setup navigation is set up options payable system setup okay so this setup is instance level it is not specific to our operating unit for the entire instance this setup will be applicable we'll see that just double click here we can specify supplier number generation when you create the supplier how system has to generate the number so here by default it is set to automatic and since it's automatic type should be numbering numbering numeric and the next automatic number would be for supplier is 787 so so since it's a vision instance already this setup is done this will work at instance level and uh, you can specify the invoice currency all these defaults you can set up okay based on the business requirement so now just what are the setups we are doing all we are doing for so india right so here the primary ledger we created in which currency inr or usd anyone please inr inr so here if that is a case you set invoice currency as INR so rest of defaults you can accept as these but when you are working in the fresh instance okay you can specify how the supplier number need to be generated that would be just uh, decided by client just they will be preferring to use normally automatic numbering only 
so otherwise if they want to use manual you can select manual already we are using automatic you don't change in this instance you can accept the same just change the currency so what are the currency you are just going to use and say save and close here you don't need to do any changes okay so we'll understand this invoice match option payment terms you just notice here there is one payment term called as immediate so this would get defaulted okay whenever whenever we do the setups there i'll just talk about this point and we'll be changing to the other payment terms whatever we create okay just notice the information what we have here we don't need to do anything primarily the payable system setup will be setting the supplier numbering how supplier number need to be generated and again for which country we are going to do the implementation so that country currency you have to select and if you are doing the implementation for multiple countries any one of the currency you can select here the country specific currencies will be able to manage at the time at the supplier level as well as transaction level okay here you don't need to change anything the next setup is we have to configure financials options already we completed financial option setup from purchasing application okay as a part of purchasing setups we completed financial option setup that we'll see from here also already we discussed this financial options will be shared across invent purchasing payables as well as fixed assets okay so to set up the financial options navigation is set up options financials options just double click you could see the same whatever the information you provided from purchasing side okay under supplier purchasing we selected inventory organization and under these tabs we didn't provide information since nothing is mandatory as of now so after completing the multi org setup just we verified our multi org configuration uh, just completed without any issues to make sure that just we verified the business group is selected whatever we defined or not okay so this setup already we completed from purchasing again you don't need to do for payables but you have to consider when you are implementing the payables you have to consider this setup is already completed All, uh, otherwise we have to set it up at least to run the payables flow the next setup is as we discussed here let me just open this okay we have to set up the payables options okay we have to set up the payables options so here is the task called as payables options navigation is set up options payables options as of now nothing is mandatory other than one checkbox that also i am not going to set it now when we are recording the transaction we'll just find out the importance of the checkbox then we'll be setting the rest of all the tabs depending on the concept when we are working on the different currencies we'll be using this tab when you are working on the invoicing process will be using when you are working on approvals will be using this approval when you are working on matching concept when you create interest invoice when you create expense reports when you work on the payment process and when you work on withholding tax so depending on which invoice type we are creating based on that we'll just will be setting will be uh, setting up this required information under this relevant tabs for now nothing is mandatory just for information just consider this is also one of the important setup to run the payables application okay so we we'll, we have to set one option as a mandatory to process the invoice but i am not setting now whenever it is required we will set it up so that we can understand the purpose of the setup okay so these are the three setups okay payable system setup and financial options payable payable options now we'll go and create the payment terms okay so what is the purpose of payment terms to calculate the due date and to discount to calculate the due dates and to discounts to find out the due date and if any discount is applicable so when the discount is applicable how much percentage of discount is applicable that you can set up through payment terms only okay we'll go and create one or two payment terms to understand how we can create it so to create the payment terms take the navigation as setup invoices payment terms navigation is set up invoice payment terms so you can just create payment term called as again one more point the payment terms what we create those are not specific to operating net what are the payment term you create that would be available from all the operating nets the pay payment terms are not specific to ou just remember this point so for our understanding we'll give the name as cloud i'll say cloud immediate so payment term is cloud immediate 
when you say immediately how many days you have to pay zero days say same day so how much percentage total amount 100 percent we have to pay in how many days days we have to set to zero that's it this is how you can create the immediate payment term we'll create another payment term called as 35 or days or 40 days some other payment term to create new uh, another payment term place cursor here click on new and here you can say cloud i'll say 45 days payment term so here i have to specify percentage say 100 percent amount we have to pay in how many days say 45 days so if this is a case here discount also supplier can offer we have to pay within 45 days Supplier can offer the discount saying that if you pay within 5 days or 10 days or 15 days or 20 days So and so discount percentage of discount is applicable. That's how supplier can offer the discount We'll just go with a discount example also here So this is how the payment term you can create so that means if you use this payment term within our invoice system will calculate the due date from so and so date the 45 days you are creating invoice today Maybe from today system will be counting 45 days and it will give the due date and we have to pay within 45 days <coughs> if, if this is the case supplier can offer the discount say supplier is offering the discount instead of paying within 45 days if you pay within 10 days supplier may offer 10% discount or say 5% or 6% so we can set the 